Hello, I am back with another video about the Pixie camera, this time connected to the Arduino. Uh, before I get too, too much into the details, I want to talk about something that comes with the Pixie camera that I have never dealt with before. It is a 10 pin connector on one side and a 6 pin see if you can see that, connector on the other side that goes from the Pixie into the special little section over here of the Arduino and this allows very simply for the Arduino to talk to the Pixie using a I2, uh, ISCP something like that something that makes it very easy for the general serial port conversation to happen. So I hooked that up earlier and everything went great. Talked no problem. But then I thought well a lot of people use the I squared C system and they wanted to use that and so I thought well I would try to test that system and I wrongly thought that I could have all the data go from the Pixie into the Arduino using this cable and then I could choose whatever protocol that I wanted. Well, it may be possible, but I couldn't have figured it out. So I, I don't think that this is for that at all. Now, upon more research, I think this is for just for the, the SP port. The other thing I learned after quite a bit of playing that you'll see in the Piximon configurations, you'll see something called the data out port. This is very, very important because if you don't want to use the standard SPI interface, if you want to use the I2C or the UART, you have to change that. So that wasn't super obvious to me. I didn't really think about it. So I was trying a whole lot of stuff and a whole lot of versions of uh, configurations before I realized that uh, that actually not only was that the problem, but I had to, instead of using this thing if I wanted to use the I squared C I had to actually look at the this right here maps to the lines or the, the wires on this little device here but because it doesn't go to 10 pins I can't use this so I was able to look at these numbers here and figure out what those map to on this pin out right here so what I did was I just took some jumper wires and I put them into my Arduino into the 5 volts and into the SCL and SDA see that? so very simple just 4 wires now this doesn't use the pen and tilt I just wanted to test the just the reading of the blobs so one other problem I had as I was testing was finding the right types of blobs, the right types of objects to use to get reliable data. If it was shiny or if it was too dark, it was very hard to read stuff. So, one thing I did was I took out my move controllers, my PlayStation. Now, it's, you can see in the reflection that's blue. It looks white here, probably because of infrared or it's too bright. I don't know. But I just turned my PS3 on and chosen a move game and didn't really care what it was just so that it would turn on this controller so right now the PS3 is waiting for me to do something but doesn't really understand what's going on doesn't really matter oh you can kind of see it there so anyways now I have a very nice reliable marker I and mean, this thing was designed specifically to be picked up by a camera so it works really really well with that. so I was able to configure like I showed in the last video the camera to look for this color and then using the a very 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 simple Arduino script it just basically I can go through real quickly but it's super simple all I do is I initialize I2C I squared C I don't know open up the serial port I loop through I try to get a block for the pixie if I get a block, I just print out the X and the Y location to the serial port, the period at the end. I print that out. That's all it does. 
this thing just goes and just looks for a block. In this case, I'm only using one and spits out the data. Then, in processing, I have another very simple program that just opens up a serial port. It looks for data until it hits the period. Basically creates an event. It reads the data until it gets the period. It, it chops it up so that it, it removes the period. It looks for the comma in between the X and the Y. It picks the first part, the X component, which is from zero to where the period, the comma is. It takes the Y value, which is from the next space after the the, y, the period, the comma, to the rest of the file. It puts them and converts them from string to a float. And then I just multiply it by three so I can see it on my screen. So what that does, when it draws, it just draws an ellipse at that location. So basically, it's a real simple test. I basically run this. So this works. And of course, sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why. Run it again. You're okay. So that red dot corresponds to my blue move controller and you'll see here when I move the blue move controller the red dot on the screen moves here too so one thing you notice it's just reporting the position not the distance so if I go real close with the move controller it doesn't it doesn't change size the dot on the screen stays the same size no matter how close or far because all it's reporting is X and Y position of the block, but you can see here. Let me see if you can see here. There is some lag. It's okay. It's not great, but you know, it could be because of the serial port. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I'll keep doing some more information. I suppose if you were to put this on a quadcopter and you know look for some lights on the ground, uh, you could very, I think you could very uh, reliably. Certainly use it to keep it from drifting or you know have it follow the circle, keep it in the center. It's uh it's pretty solid. And when I when I let this thing down, I'm multiplying by three, so it's gonna add a little bit of jitter. But you know, it's pretty solid, I gotta say. It definitely helps using the move controller because this is a nice big round surface and I can go pretty far away and even when I'm you know four or five feet away, it still reads it pretty well. So that's hooking it up with the I2C connector on the Arduino. Actually, pretty easy. Um, probably next time we'll look into getting some more motors and something else working with that. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I will try different stuff. Thank you so much. Bye bye.